Kopzaal, Hey YouTube, Coppersan here. Maple Story has turned 18 years old. Happy birthday! And celebrations are underway with the Moment Tree update. No game changes this time around, so we're going straight into what events there are, how to get rewards, and which rewards to choose from the event store. I hope you're ready to take responsibility, because for this event you have to grow two spirits until they're 18 years old. Get ready to change some diapers and hunt some monsters. Like always, these events can be started from level 101, but some even better events like a level 141 plus bonk leveling event are locked for now. After traveling to the event map and accepting the quest, talk to Ellie to unlock a skill needed to cap coins. You can cap 300 coins per day from monsters and this is needed to unlock the mall part of the events and to allow your kids to grow. Each day after you collect 300 coins from monsters, you can talk to the kiddos to make them grow. Do this 6 times to reach the next stage and a lot of rewards, do it another 5 times to reach the next stage level 3 and 10 more times to reach level 4. The 3rd and 4th floor of rewards require 2 days of coin capping to get every reward by the way. The rewards themselves are pretty decent, like level up potions, an event ring, a legendary potential scroll for that ring, cubes, notes, symbols and more. For the event ring selector coupon, you can choose any ring that you don't have, they all have the same stats, so no worries about that. The final medal at the end of the event will give you 18 all stats, 7 attack and magic attack and 950 HP and MP. To get this medal, you have to get all the rewards. When you're capping coins by defeating monsters, you'll fill up a heart that explodes and then 4 horses will spawn and will give additional EXP. To cap your daily coins from hunting monsters, you need to defeat about 2500 monsters. Besides those 300 coins per day, you can get an additional 800 coins per week by completing this puzzle minigame. I'll include a cheat sheet with all the pictures in the top comment. This puzzle game can be done up to 4 times per week for rewards. You can complete it more often if you want afterwards, but you won't get any more rewards. This is 4 times per world by the way, regardless of which character you completed the puzzle event on. The monster coin capping event can be done on every character that you own, so you can get 300 coins per character every day. Once you've capped your coins, you can participate in some mole extermination. This is a Punch King style event where you have to get the highest score possible by dealing as much damage as you can within the time limit. This event also rewards towards coins. And for the final event that's active right now, there is a food stand. You can use this food stand to get up to 4 buffs per day, either an EXP or a damage one. And if you reach the next floor, with your coin capping, more powerful options will appear. The buffs are shared within the world though, so choose wisely. And before I forget to mention it, there are passive stat boosts that you can level up again with this event. Capping coins rewards points and those can be spent to get passive stat boosts. I usually go for EXP, ignore defense and boss damage. If you're not one-shotting monsters yet, the normal monster damage one is really good as well. You can't go wrong with those stats. Just choose what you need, just don't put any points in all stats or HP and MP as those are pretty weak compared to the others. Even attack and magic attack is not that great. Once you cap your coins and talk to the spirits for 6 days and you reach the second floor, a new event will unlock, the magic wardrobe event. This is a hunting event where you have to score points. This rewards EXP and can only be entered after reaching level 200. It's great for leveling up those level 3 Link Skill Mules to level 210 in Maple Story Global or any other character you just want to level up past level 200. Once you reach the third floor, so after collecting 300 coins from monsters for 11 days, this dolphin dude unlocks. In this event, you can drop in a character that's between level 141 and level 199 to get a random amount of level ups like those level up potions. You can do this two times per day when you're on the third floor and even three times per day when you're on the fourth floor of this event. Also, once you use this event 10 times, the 11th time, the rates are doubled. This is going to be super useful to get those Legion and Link skill characters to level 200. And at the end of the month, on the 31st, the Piggy Bank event unlocks. You can use this Piggy Bank to get additional coins once you hit your daily limit, which will be a nice catch-up mechanic for those still in need for more coins. So speaking of coins, what can you even get with them? The event store is a bit hidden this time, you have to talk to Herman to enter the store. Who <laughs> thought of this? First things first, you'll see a lot of rings. You can basically ignore the Vengeful and Cosmos ring. Those are the weakest out of all of them. Get the Synergy ring only if you plan to get it on 5 different characters. Besides that, the stats are fine. But the best ring to get and the one to get first, at least that I recommend, is the Chaos ring. This one has the highest stats, similar to the Master SS and the, and the Synergy ring if you have all 5 characters. But this one can reset its potential for free up to 10 times per week. And the free resets can go up to Unique. The ring itself can go to Legendary, but with the free resets you can go up to Unique. The Dark Critical Ring looks nice on first glance, but it cannot get potential, so even though it gives 5% critical damage, 
In the end, I think the Chaos Ring is just better and cheaper to rank up due to the free resets, save you some money or mesos on cubes as well. If you have coins left, you could also go for the Master Ring SS, but the Savior update is just around the corner, coming mid-June, and I'm pretty sure we're getting another event ring in that event as well, similar to the ones you can get from the coin capping event. So I would just go for those and skip out on the Master Ring SS, unless if you're really in need of a ring right now, else I think your coins can be spent better. Over at the Enhanced section of the store, we got our usual suspects. The 17 star scroll is still a bit expensive in my opinion, but if you want it then definitely go for it. The flames are always nice to get and any droplets that you might need to get arcane gear. At the growth selection you can go for the trade boost potions to unlock for example your pocket slot and monster blooms if you're working on your monster collection. The job advancement coin is finally back which is nice for those explorers looking to change their job. Not you yet, not yet. I always get node stones and symbols from here as well. Those are must buys, the node stones and symbols. Definitely get those. You can also get a lot of them, so make sure to save up your coins. And of course, there are some cosmetics in the desk part of the store. You can get a free Android from the event already, so I don't think you need to go for this one from the store as well. The Mesa store is really interesting this time around because the prices of everything has increased by a lot. The heart is 4 billion now and those flames are so not worth it. 4 billion can be a lot of mesos for seasonal maplers. It is the best in slot android heart you can get, but at least in reboot, but I do find it very expensive. We're getting this heart again in the savior event stores. This update again will be released mid-June, so I wouldn't sweat it if you can't save up on time. I might make a dedicated video to talk about the inflation in the Maple Story because this is pretty crazy. The final event store has a special currency that can be obtained by defeating weekly bosses, and at least the flames here are priced pretty reasonably. <laughs> Jeez man, what's up with that Mesa store? Also, get the droplets from this store if you need them for the arcane gear. And those are all events and event stores for the 18th anniversary. What do you think of this event and all those crazy prices from the Meso store? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, special thanks to our members for making these videos possible. Special thanks to Niels de Konik, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, Riley Os, Terry Kim, Varese, Cody Mora, Wiley, History Cannon, Backspace OTI, Safronix, Ziggy Deer, Flidiot, Knife. Cloudfix, Gusus Rodriguez, Digby, Vyra, Trevor, Michael Manchaka, Ratius, Justin Vale, Silvio Nato, Afterlord and Score MS, Striker Elk, Tidal One Fun, Radical Jaws, Riser Are You, Sir Tito 655, Matthias Simonson, PC Game Life, The Passenger, Martin Panzik, Conrad Cristales, Ace Light, Mr. Narc, Ben Wolf, Max Bernhardt, Muka1017, BMB King, Squatty Flies Fast, Priscilla, Brandon Cam, Vake Botnet, Feko, Victor Sun. Stroom, Simak, Only, Rashid, Alhar Moody, Glando Balavia, Gianfranco, Condoron, Canavero, Lucky Beats, Mathinu Def, Gummy Bullet, Lord Fazil, Spots D. Kaiser, Zunnen, That Archie Guy, Grogo, Gabriel Eck, Luis Bento Brandao, Dante Victory, Snafu Pop, Astia Villa, Tails Kurtzpet, and The Wolf Drake. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and happy mapling!